Hey, good morning. Pastor Chris here. Welcome to the Poolside Chat. I promised today that I would answer a last question in our series of the top five questions millennials had. We've talked about things. Can you know truth? Do all people matter to God? Am I good enough? Um, this is one that's come out over several years. But it's one that I think is really important. Why go to church? And uh, why go to church? I don't really need to have someone yell at me for an hour. Or as a Christian writer once described to go to a pleasant place where a pleasant man sits in front of a bunch of pleasant people telling them how to be more pleasant. I want to go out and make a difference in the world. I want to change the world. I want to do good. And church doesn't seem to be it. So what, what is the purpose of church? I mean, the Bible says, do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together as a habit of some. Um, right here, I'm encouraging it. Not really. I would say go to church. I'll say the same thing today at the end. But I think many times and in many ways, we, the church, have driven people away. The church has seemed like a club that you join. And I want to join a club. I mean, it's no official membership, but the people connect, you know, oh, good morning, glad you're here, and then they go run off and leave you. I have seen churches that get together Sunday and maybe Wednesday and explain the Bible and then go home and live life. It's a study group. <sighs> but what I would say is I want you to join your groups, join your efforts, activities, where you can go out and change the world. But the church is also where you change the world. And, and if your church doesn't seem to do that, find one that does. There's a passage I want to leave you with, and I'll give you some examples of what I mean. In uh, James 1.27, it says, Religion that God the Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after the orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Another version says true religion is this, look after the widows and orphans and keep oneself unstained from the world. And maybe some churches forget this, Maybe our expectations of what a church should do is wrong. We're to learn so we can go out and do. We're to get taught so we can go out and be and help. So, for example, look after the widows and orphans in their distress. Who cares for people that are hurt? Who cares for people that can't take care of themselves? Who teaches people how to succeed in life when that lesson isn't taught within the family because there is no one to teach them in that family? It's the church. That's what that verse means. And I think we've done a really poor job at that. Um, widows and orphans in their distress there are a lot of men out there who don't take care of their house the church is there to teach the men how to take care of their house how to be the example the church should be there for those people that don't have a man either through disability injury, death loss, divorce to help take care of the house and be an example for the kids to help them grow up to be healthy well-adjusted people 
How do we keep a standard and moral bearing in this world when we see the morals of this world, the selfishness, self-serving, become so accepted through the church? How do we come to a place where people want to be? I remember growing up where the church and even in ancient Israel was the center of social life. We had covered dish dinners. We had picnics, if you will, where you'd go out and you'd play horseshoes or play cornhole or have a softball game or get out there with the grandparents and play badminton or croquet. We would sit around and listen to stories while you ate. That's what the church is for. And I said, if you want to get out there and do good outside of the church, God bless you, man. Go. But the church should support this. Body. Come on. He found a snake. Um... Don't bring them inside. So, this is what the church should do. And what I want to finish with is the church supposed to do this for us. The church is supposed to do this and teach us so we can go out and do and teach others. See, the church isn't a building. It isn't a couple people in leadership. It isn't the pastor. It's us. It's you. It's me. And the church should be freeing us as we learn to do this, to go and do this. See, I used to like to go out on these uh, uh, cleanups, ocean cleanups, day cleanups. You know who should be leading this? And supporting this, the church. I used to do neighborhood cleanups. I don't do it anymore. But who should be doing this? The church. Right in the middle of it. You know, right now, um, racism and... Uh, uh, is a big buzzword. Who should be leading this? The church. We don't need to lead these efforts but we should certainly be beside them as these things are going on and support them, whatever that passion is. I know a church here, they have a community garden. How hard is that? God bless them, man. I know another church here, they have a, uh, it's like an animal sanctuary where they bring school kids in and use them with some of their special needs populations. God bless them true religion that pleases God the Father is this caring for the widows and orphans in their distress and keeping oneself unstained from the world so I encourage you and the reason I wanted to address this even though it wasn't direct question today we need somewhere we can get recharged refreshed where we need to be told what, what the right path is and how to stay on it or get on it and support people wherever they are. Either as an individual because they need help and support or in their mission to care for God's creation, whatever that looks like. So let me challenge the church, challenge me, get back to this. Everyone needs the church, they need us. And, uh, and if you quit on the church, don't quit. That's our role, that's where we find what God's given us and how he wants to please him through helping others care for what he's given us I feel like I've yelled at you for 10 minutes maybe I have I don't know 
but I get a little passionate about this, and that's why I, uh, that's why I, uh, why I wanted to address it. So, hey, next week I said I'm going to start on a new topic. Uh, come back next week and I'll tell you what it is. But this has been good. I love these questions and I love having the chance to address these. And uh, guys, it's the weekend. Go enjoy. Remember tomorrow's Sunday. Go to church. And I'll see you Wednesday.